So let's dive in and write our first program. Programming was not as easy as it is in 2021. Thanks to the internet, we don't have to install anything before starting to code. So what do you see? I have now opened my browser. Let me just zoom in just so that it's clear to you all. And I'm typing replit.com. R-E-P-L-I-T dot com. Okay. And then you will see this. The moment you see this, click on start coding. And then it will ask for a username and password. If you have a Gmail ID, just click on this G and log into your Gmail ID and you will be getting a window like the a screen like this. Go to this plus symbol, click on it. What is the language that you would like to code? Python, obviously, click on Python. And then here you will get a, a name that is machine given. It is generally a combination of words, random combination of words. So what I will do is I'll remove it and then give it a name first code and then create on create REPL. Okay. So I, I click on it. This is a repository that gets created. Don't break your head about what's a repository. It's just a place where you can come and code. And as you can see, you can in fact, see some examples by clicking here. Let's do that. Here are some example codes, but it's uh, a little confusing to see it on, on your first um, day of programming. So let us try coding something from our hands. Let me say print. Hello, just hello. And once I type something here, you will see things are self explanatory. I will not explain. Come here and click on run and you will see hello here. Now, your question would be, what just happened? You say something here and the same word came here. I mean, what is the big deal? What are we into? Right? So the point is, this is the place where you will type your, so you can call it commands, right? And this is the place where your computer will execute them and show you the result of what you have typed here. Just in case you typed instead of hello, you typed namaste and then click on run, it will show you namaste. Okay. If, if you say namaste India and then click on run, it will show namaste India. So in a nutshell, all you do is you type your commands here and you get the output here. All right. You can type more print commands. This is the second line and you will indeed get Namaste India in the first line and then this is the second line. All right. You can type whatever you want. Put dots here or put some spe spe special symbols and you will see them here. Okay. Let's do a small piece of code that is not simply printing some English statements. Let me delete this and simply try type one star. Okay, see what happens. Let me not, not explain what I'm doing. It, it again should be self-explanatory. So what am I doing? I typed two stars in the second line, three stars in the third line. As I run this, I will get this, right? If I keep doing this, assuming I have a lot of time this evening, I, I can keep typing this five lines. And then uh, sixth line is six stars, seventh line is seven stars. Okay, then run, you will get precisely what you have typed. Okay, it sort of has a staircase effect as you can see. Correct? And let me continue this eight, nine, and ten. Uh, looking at the pattern, you see, I should have, I should have included nine stars here, but I've included two stars more. Okay making it 10 stars. If I run, look at this, the computer will obviously not know that it should display the nine stars here and not 10 simply because you have specified 10 stars here. The point to note is that your computer does precisely what you ask your computer to do. If you ask it to display a hash at the end, it will simply display a hash at the end as you can see. Okay, print, I don't know what to type, 
and then run it it will simply say i don't know what to type <laughs> simple as that <laughs> right so um, yeah this is a, this is a, a, a gentle introduction a very quick introduction to python and the simplest way to start typing your code and the simplest code is of course your print statement i just now showed you how you can type something here and execute the same by clicking on run command and the executed code appears on the screen right here okay this should be enough to begin with you can go ahead and try exploring whatever you want to explore uh, before i conclude let me try to display these stars in the reverse order what do i mean by that three stars let's say space space star okay give me a minute you will understand what i'm trying to do space star star and star 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 what do you think this will display right exactly the same thing but in the reverse order right wonderful now what if i want to display four lines understand a small issue here i cannot simply put four here i should put one space extra here one extra space here and one extra space here do you see do you see that i, I clicked on run and i got the output a beautiful staircase effect but in the uh, staircase uh, effect but uh, in the reverse direction but do you observe something it is not as easy as the previous program where you simply typed one star in the first line two in the second line three in the third line fourth in the fourth line it's a little more involved than that right to make your life even more difficult rather i'm making my life difficult here not yours <laughs> i'm sure when you type start typing um, uh, your piece of code your life will become difficult as well you see for five i should again go and push these things by one space run and here i am and assuming i did that for about 10 lines and the 11th line will involve me me going up and then putting space to all the lines above oh it's going to be some hard work if you're going to do this for like 20 lines i stop here with a question is there any way we can automate this of course we are a couple of weeks ahead with this question and other i'm asking this question a couple of weeks ahead but let's wait and watch if there's a nice way to display this by coding something really nice here in just three to four lines so let's wait for the forthcoming weeks where we take you on our journey of automating things using programming